recreating movie posters using Adobe Spark, so stick around. What's going on everyone, Claudio here and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something fun and creative. We're going to recreate movie posters like these right here using Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm on my homepage on spark.adobe.com. I'm going to click on the blue plus sign and choose custom size graphic. Now since I'm going with a movie poster, I'm going to choose the print option and go with the 11 by 17. Now the ones you see in the theaters are 24 by 36, but for this project, this should work just fine. Then I'll click on next. Now the ones that I shared with you earlier at the start, which was the shining poster and the jaws poster, I kind of recreated that with a little inspiration by some work that others have done on the web. Now for this one, I want to recreate the back to the future poster. It's one of my favorite movies. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of go with a recreation of this. Not exactly the same, but kind of a twist on it. So let's go ahead and start with the backdrop. And I'm going to choose, let's go with, I'll say with a blue background. We could always change it later on if we want to. And actually, let's look here. So we've got these different colors here. Let's go with that dark blue then. And I'll just click here and choose custom and just go to the darker side here. Maybe that will work right there. We'll choose that one there. And now what I'm going to do is click on icons. Now, if I search back to the future, I'm probably not going to find anything. Oh, hey, there we go. We've got some cool. We got the jacket. We've got the guitar, the iconic guitar, Doc Brown here, the clock tower the DeLorean. So pretty cool. I actually was surprised. I didn't think I would see any here. So let's see. Let's click on that one there. Okay. That one looks cool. And we got that one. All right. This is not exactly the DeLorean that I'm looking for. So what I will do is click on the search and retype here DeLorean. And let's see what we come up with. Okay. Now this is more like it. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I want that one right there. So we're going to go ahead and click and delete these right here. Pretty surprised. Let's out of curiosity, let's type in Star Wars. So we've got a ton of stuff here. So if you go recreate some posters, go do some searching in the icons, take advantage of those icons in there. All right. So we'll close that up and I want the DeLorean to be facing the opposite direction. So we're going to Click on it, as you see here, and it says edit icon. I'm going to flip horizontally. There we go. So we've got the DeLorean there. And I'm going to change the DeLorean's color to white. And as I'm going through this, I may end up changing the color of the background. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. Um, in fact, I'm kind of not feeling that blue. I'm going to go ahead and just change it up right now and go with a super, super light gray. So we're going to adjust that. Now I know the car is hard to see there, but we're gonna just lighten that up a bit. And now what I'll do is I'll click on the icon again for the car and let's go with a, you know, it's a dark gray. That, that looks pretty cool. We'll use that one there. And now what I'll do is I'll choose on text and click on add my own text. And then we'll go here and type back to the future. And we'll adjust the size. And I want back to the future to the font, I should say to be even. So let's go ahead and check on the magic alignments and let's try that option there. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do here is search for some other fonts here. Maybe we'll find some that, you know, fit better. I'm not going to find the exact one that's in the movie poster. Those are custom made. So let's do this. Let's look through here and see what I have already in my bank of fonts. I think I'll go with that one right there. We're going to make that bigger. So let's tap on the text 
color here and let's go with more and let's click on orange. All right. So we've got the orange there and let's go to custom and let's make an adjustment to this orange, make it a little bit darker, slide it a little more towards the yellow. There we go. We've got back to the future. I'm going to do a little line spacing here, bring that closer back to the future. And let's see here. We're going to add a different color here. So you see it shows main style. So if I add a highlight style, I'm able to add additional colors to that text. Now I'm not going to use the blue. Let me go down here to colors and let's go with the yellow. And let's see here. Back to the future. Got the orange and yellow. Stands out better with a darker background. So, you know, we'll be playing around with this a little bit here, but let's try, let's try red. Click on red and let's adjust this red to a little bit darker. That looks pretty cool there. And so that is the highlight color. And I think what I'm going to do is highlight that back to the future and uncheck that. So that is that main style. I'm just make a tweak on that orange color there. Maybe go yellow. Let's see, just playing around with the colors. This may take a little bit of time here, back to the future. And then the highlights, that red, let's just maybe make it pop there. Okay, that's kind of cool there. There we go. We got back to the future, just plain and simple recreation of the poster here. Now, as I said, I'm not really digging the mixture of colors here. So let's try something. Let's go over here where it says design. And uh, actually not design, but let's go to colors. And let's do some randomizing of the colors and see what happens here. So we're going to go down here to the decorative modern and let's go with the bold and let's just click and see what happens. Okay. As, as you can see, as I click through the shuffling of the colors here, just really going super bold with these colors. If you've never played with the shuffling of colors, check it out. It's pretty cool. Go down here. So you click through here, you kind of get a little inspiration of colors. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that dark background. Now I can come back here to the colors. So here's my main style and then we can come back here and okay. Now it's feeling a little better for me. And then I go to the highlight color. Let's try out that red. Let's see here. Or do we go? Okay. Actually it looks pretty good there. Kind of a bright yellow orange. There we go. Back to the future and we've got the car. Let's see. The car is kind of a bluish color. Let's go with the white, just really high contrast. Okay. A plain and simple recreation of back to the future poster. I'm not going to get into a ton of detail here, but this is basically what I want. Now, if I want to maybe add some of that flame as the car speeds up to its specific miles per hour and see if you can remember what that was. And let's go ahead and Go back to icons and let's just type in flames. Uh, let's see here. See if we can find a trail of flames. Here we go. That one may be just the one we're looking for. Oh yeah. Now let's resize that just a tad bit down. This almost worked out. I would say almost pretty much perfectly. And let's change that. Cool. Right there recreation of back to the future poster. All right. So my next step here is going to be back to the future and we'll just type in poster. So that way I can save this. And now my next step is to download this file for printing or for sharing. If I'm going to share this on the web, I'll probably choose PNG or JPEG. If I'm going to print this out, I want to make it look nice, possibly for framing. I will choose the PDF option and probably send this out to get printed. So let's go ahead and download the PDF version. And there it is. And there you have a recreation of an iconic movie poster using Adobe Spark. So now it's your turn 
to recreate your favorite movie poster and post it and please do tag me when you do that if you have any comments or questions about this video please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel click on the bell to be notified for future videos and please do share this video with others thank you again for stopping by to check out this video and as always be good to one another peace